Many researchers are interested in taking measurements of all the different components of an organism to see how they work and how they are similar or different from other organisms. Now it is easy to make simple measurements such as the length of a head or the width of the body on pretty much any organism, but oftentimes researchers want to measure something more difficult like the skeleton. Fortunately, there are a variety of techniques you can use to measure an organism's skeleton. X-rays are a quick and easy way to get a look at an organism's skeleton. Unfortunately, they can be expensive, and they are, after all, only two-dimensional images. You can also use chemicals, or even beetles, to eat away everything around the skeleton. This is, unfortunately, only useful on larger organisms, and does have the downside of destroying all the muscles if you want to use those. Here in Overlab, we choose to clear and stain most of our specimens. We do this for a variety of reasons, the first of which is that the specimens become pliable again, and also the muscles are still intact so we can see how those attach to the skeleton. Next we'll skin the specimen to ensure the chemicals that we're going to be using in the next steps are able to penetrate all the way to the skeleton. Okay, so I've just finished skinning the last of the specimens. So that means it's off to the first step of the clearing and staining process. Now that the specimen have been skinned, we're going to begin the process of staining the cartilage. To do this, the skinned specimen will be placed inside a bath composed of four parts ETOH, one part glacial acetic acid, and a small amount of alcyon blue dye. Now this stuff can smell pretty bad, so we're going to use this fume hood here to get rid of all that bad smells. And remember to label everything with the correct time and date that it was added to that chemical. Remember, you don't want to mix any of these chemicals up, and you want to be sure you know when to take it out to proceed to the next step. After waiting 3 to 24 hours, or after your specimens are properly stained, remove them from Alcyon Blue. As you can see, the Alcyon Blue stains the cartilage of the fish. Next, we place our specimens in a bath of ethanol, or ETOH, for a few hours, or even all day if the specimen is overstained. The next step is to place our specimens in water for a couple of hours. And then, we place our specimens in saturated sodium borate to neutralize them. This process takes 6 to 12 hours. Next, we place our specimens in trypsin. The trypsin solution is 7 parts distilled water, 3 parts saturated sodium borate, and 10 grams of trypsin powder per liter of solution. Trypsin is an enzyme that will digest the muscles of the specimen so it becomes clear and pliable. We keep specimens in the solution until the vertebral column becomes visible. Now we will stain the bones. We now transfer specimens to a 0.5% KOH and a small amount of alizarin red stain. The specimens will remain here until they are thoroughly stained. Next we place the specimens in 0.25 KOH for one day. The organism is then placed in glycerin for storage. As you can see, the specimens are easy to move and the skeleton is visible. The cartilage is blue and the bones are red. Here in Elver Lab, we use cleared specimens to study the size and shape of different skeletal structures and how its form relates to its function. 